Hi, it's Frank Agahi with Remax Omega here in Irvine, California, and thank you for watching my video blog. Today we're going to talk about interest rate, and are they going up? Let's look at what causes the interest rates to go up, and that probably will help us uh, understand better if the interest rates are going up or not, and what impact it would have in our real estate market. As I've always said, real estate is timing, timing, timing. Those who've made money in real estate are those who've timed it right, or they've been lucky enough to time it right. Obviously, other factors like location, condition, all matters. But timing is what people make money on or they lose money on. If you would have sold your home in 2006, you would have made money. If you sold in 2007, you would have lost money. So let's get back to our topic. How would interest rates impact uh, our market? And what causes the interest rate to go up? There's a lot of talk about uh, Federal Reserve raising the rate, and some people are under the impression that by Federal Reserve uh, raising the rates, the mortgage rates will also go up. As a matter of fact, last time, earlier this year, when the Federal Reserve raised the rate, mortgage rates went actually lower. Mortgage rates always closely fluctuate with the bond market. As a matter of fact, with a 10-year bond, they closely follow the same movement as the 10-year bond. Looking at the bond market, it probably gives you a better picture of what is going on with the interest rate. Bonds are at their, one of the highest level historically on their pricing. The higher the bond prices, the lower the yield. And the lower the yield, that means for you and I, lower mortgage rates. And especially with a 10-year bond, Wherever that rate is, that is the basis to determine our mortgage rate. Most lenders base their rates on the 10-year bond. Today, the price of a 30-year bond is at one of the highest prices. And as a result, it has a lower yield than it's had in the last 30 years. As a matter of fact, it's the first time in the last 30 years that the 30-year bond yield is lower than the inflation rate. And one of the reasons for that is other countries with negative interest rate are rushing their money here to the United States to take advantage of the positive interest rate. As low as it may be, it's still positive. And that has caused bond prices to go higher. Many in Wall Street believe that our next bubble is the bond bubble. So if this bond bubble really bursts, what is going to happen? Bond prices are going to go lower, yield is going to go higher. As a, as, as a result, our interest rates are going to go higher. But until the bond market continues the trend that it is, that interest rates are going to stay lower regardless if the Fed increases the rate or not, what the Fed is increasing or raising is the short-term interest rate. What we are dealing with with the mortgage uh, rates are the long-term rates. Let me put it this way. If you bought a home at $700,000 in 2006 with 20% down payment at the rate of 6.5%, your payment would be about $3,400 plus, a little bit over $3,400. If you buy a home today at $925,000 with 20% down at current rates of three and three quarter, your payment would be exactly the same amount. So as you see, interest rates have fueled the home prices to go higher. And any changes in the interest rate will have the same impact in reverse will cause affordability to go lower. As a, as a result, the prices will be pushed lower. So as far as considering if the interest rates are going to go up or not, I guess your answer is better than mine or as good as mine, depending on the bond market. The bond market are at the top of the, the rates in the last 30 years. Are they, do they need to have a correction? Most people think they do. Is it going to be a correction or is it going to be a bubble? I don't know. I don't think anybody could say with a certainty that it's going to crash. But that's one area you and I need to watch for to see what happens to the bond market as a result of what happens to our rate and how it's going to impact our pricing. Thank you for watching my video blog and remember, who you work with matters.